In this video, I will show you how to use Windows Server 2016 to deploy roaming user profiles to Windows client computers. If your environment is not already set up with roaming user profiles, the first step is to create security group that contains all the users to which you want to apply roaming user profile settings. So let's open Active Directory Users and Computers Console and here you can see we have one OU named OU1 and under OU1 I have a total 5 test users that is test user 1 to test user 5 and we have a one group named group 1. All 5 users are member of our group group 1. So we have a one security group named group 1 and we will use this group to assign permission on the shared folder. So before we configure roaming profile settings for user account, we need to create a share folder. So let's open this PC and let's double click on D drive. Let's create one folder name profile. Let's share this folder by right clicking on it and select properties. Click on sharing tab. Click on advanced sharing. Select share this folder. And the share name will be profile, but you want to create this share as a hidden share. That's why I'm going to put dollar sign at the end of the share name. Now let's click on permissions. As you can see, everyone have a default read-only permission. Let's give them a full control. Let's click on apply. Click on OK. Again, click on apply and OK. Now we need to set up NTFS permission as well. So let's click on security tab. Let's click on advanced. Now first of all, I'm going to disable inheritance. Select convert inherited permission into explicit permission on this object. And let's remove both user entry. Because by default, every user from our domain is a member of mylab slash users group. And we don't want that user have a certain permission on this share folder. Let's click on remove. Now let's click on add button. Click on select a principal. And here we have to specify the name of our group, and that is group 1. Click on check name to verify that group. Okay, let's click on OK. Now permission will be allowed, but that permission only applies to this folder only. Now let's click on show advanced permission and select create files and write data and create folders and append data permission as well. Let's click on OK. Let's click on apply and OK. Now our share folder is ready to use. Again, let's click on sharing tab. Copy the network path. And click on close. Now our next step is to configure domain users profile settings. Let's move back to active directory users and computers console. And select our user, just user 1. Right click on it and select properties. You can also select multiple users by pressing control key while selecting users. This will enable you to configure roaming user profile for multiple users in a single session. We will see it later. Let's click on profile. Now let's paste the shared folders path and type slash. Now here you can specify percentile. User need percentile variable. Let's click on apply. That will automatically populate it to user's login name and that is user1 in our case. Let's click on OK. So now we have successfully configured roaming user profile settings for our test user1. Let's select all remaining user test user2 to test user5. Right click on it and select properties. Let's click on profile tab. Select profile path and let's paste the path. Type slash percentile. Username, percentile. Let's click on apply and click on OK. Now if you see test user's property, click on profile tab and the name is user2. We can verify the same for test user3 as well. OK. Let's click on OK. So now we have successfully configured a roaming user profile settings for our test users. So next time when the user will log on to domain, his profile will be saved in a subfolder which will be created under profile share folder. The name of the share folder will be the name of the user for whom roaming profile is configured. If we check it under profile folders, right now we do not have any folder. So let's test 
roaming user profile settings for our Active Directory user. So this is the our Windows 10 client computer and this computer is a part of our Active Directory domain. To test roaming user profiles, we will sign into this Windows 10 computer using the user account on which we have configured roaming user profile settings. Let's use our user one's credential and let's first put the password and hit enter. Okay, let's uh, create one folder on our desktop. Let's uh, create one uh, shortcut for CMD. On, please. Now, uh, after creating files and folder, let's uh, log off from client computer. Now, user profiles will be saved back in the shared folder which we configured for roaming user profile. Let's move back to our server. And here you can see we have a one folder named user1.v5. V5 stand for this user profile is created on Windows 10 computer. And that's why there is a version number v5. So let's uh, open this folder. Now as you can see, administrator is not able to access the folder because of NTFS permission. Let's click on continue and here we go. You have been denied permission to access this folder. Let's click on close. So administrator is not able to access users profile folder. Now let's move back to our Windows client computer and let's again log in as a test user 1. Now to verify user's rooming profile, let's open system properties. Let's click on advanced system settings. But as you know, standard user does not have permission to view advanced system settings. But for this demonstration, I'm going to use the credential of our domain administrator. Let's click on yes. On the user profiles, click on settings. And here you can see mylab slash user1 has roaming profile type. So from this, we can confirm that we have successfully configured roaming profile for our user1. And that's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.